Hello and welcome to Unit 5, Defining Measures. During this week, um, we talked a lot about the SAP crisis management team cycle in general, and um, I walked together with you through the steps 1 to 3. We learned about the situation analysis, how to trigger immediate measures, and why it is important to prioritize the measures. Today, I will talk about step number four, define measures and explain to you why it is so important to really define the measures. You can imagine as a crisis management team, there are multiple facets of a crisis that you have to tackle. And likely there is not just one or two measures that you need to trigger and where you need support from people outside the crisis management team who have not the full transparency into the situation. And therefore, it is so important for the crisis management team to really define a measure very detailed to really make sure that the crisis management team at the end gets what it wants. When we look on a measure and the elements that need to be defined, it is very important that it is really clear who should do it what needs to be done by this person or function, in which order certain activities need to be executed, what are the deadlines, until when do you as a crisis management team expect that people report completion of a measure and activity back to you, and in a crisis like a pandemic where you have likely 50 measures running in parallel, how do you ensure that you really track all these open items and make sure that you get the reporting back on the outcome of the measures and the completion of the tasks? Generally, when you think about crisis management, how to tackle a crisis situation, um, it is great that um, yeah, some content is already prepared before a crisis hits. That is, for example, what I explained in earlier sessions this week, what we call emergency management. Because some situations like a, a medical emergency, a fire, or a, an active shooter scenario in areas where this is in risk, this is something that is, is happen, unfortunately, um, more than once. And therefore, it is good to have a plan so that when someone has a heart attack or when the building um, starts to burn, um, some predefined things are already triggered as part of the emergency response. But also in a crisis, certain elements can be prepared and then it's easier for the person who needs to execute the respective measure to do it. For example, a communications team could predefine certain holding statements that are then published via the social media channels of a company or via the, um, the internet page of the company. So measures define them, who needs to do what until when, for things that are very likely needed in every crisis, also think about predefining the elements of the measure. Really be clear when you communicate the measures to the people, that they understand it's their task, that they understand what they should do, that they understand until when they should do it. And also, very important, don't be too complicated. In a crisis situation, it is very clear to have clearly assigned, easily actionable measures for the teams. One example that I want to share with you here during the session is, for example, um, the topic of the woven masks. I spoke in an earlier session this week about the fact that SAP shipped um, two woven masks um, sticked with an SAP logo and uh, accompanied with a letter from our executive board to all our employees globally. And um, right, you could make the mistake and assign this task to one person, hey, take care of mass being shipped to all employees globally, but um, likely this is um, pretty much too complex. We executed on this task within a two weeks time frame. And why we were successful at the end of the day is because we broke down this, let's say, complex project in easy, executable, assignable tasks. For example, we reached out to our procurement department and said, hey, procurement team, you are responsible 
to find a supplier, ideally in Germany, who can produce 200,000 woven masks um, with an SAP logo on it within one week. We then reached out to our communications marketing department to tell them your responsibility is you create the logo and the slogan that we will put on the woven mask. This needs to be ready after one week so that we can hand it then over to the supplier for the production process. We then also reached out to our human resources department and our colleagues from data protection because on the one hand we wanted to understand for how many percent of our employees we really have private address data that enables us to ship them the mask to their private home addresses where they were due to the lockdown and the fact that we had closed all our offices at that point in time. And we checked with data protection if we could really then leverage the address data when we have it in the respective countries um, for the shipment of the woven masks. And last but not least, um, in parallel for sure, we also reached out to our logistics department um, to really find the best way to deliver the masks into um, 72 or more countries around the globe to our 100,000 employees. On the one hand, find a delivery method that is reliable so that the majority of masks really reached their final recipients, but also to find a cost-effective way to really distinguish, right, is really a parcel the best way or can it be in a letter? Um, how can we pack them um, to maybe save shipping costs? How um, do we do all the packaging with the mask and the letters? Can we outsource this to the supplier? So the complex task of shipping masks to protect our employees where they were in their home environments during the pandemic was really um, cut into slices and, and each element of this complex project was then clearly assigned with the who needs to do what until when and most important, it was reported then back to the crisis management team. And um, with that, um, I would like um, to thank all of you um, to listen to, to this week's content about the crisis management team cycle and the four, first four steps of it. And um, so thanks for your attention and have a great week. Thank you.